Good morning. Oh, I need to put this on charge. Um, it is Friday and I thought I'd do a little like what I eat in a day. Um, just because I'll be at home. And I thought it would be fun. First off, I'm going to the gym. It is like 5.30 in the morning. I'm going to have a Noxy shred. So this will kind of like Catelyn's Catelyn's? Cancel out my coffee for the day. I usually would get like, I'd have this and then get a coffee but I usually go for a walk to get a coffee and it's raining so I was like oh just leave the coffee I'm gonna be at home like I said and I'll just have an oxy shred this morning um and then I'll show you what they're paying after the gym okay this is probably the best angle we're gonna get um I'm actually gonna make a little smoothie for breakfast today because we're having takeaway tonight which I'll obviously show you like what my lower calorie high protein option is from um mcdonald's but yeah for lunch i thought i'd keep it light but like protein filled so we're going to be making like a vanilla raspberry smoothie i'm going to use frozen raspberries because i use them in my baked oats this week i'm going to be using this almond protein by macro mark it is amazing i use this in like my baking i use it in my oats everything it's so good um just some unsweetened almond milk and then some vanilla Yopro yogurt because I have to use it anyway. And it adds a bit more protein. So I'm going to get the Nutribullet out, put all these ingredients in, and then I'll show you the final result. Okay, just quickly going to do like the measurements and how many calories and like how much protein there is in this. If you don't like the talk of calories and stuff, please don't watch this video. Because um, I will be touching on it. This is like... I think sustainable, like a sustainable way of eating. And if you don't like tracking, whatever, like don't watch this, don't judge. This is just what I'm doing. This is what um, I'm doing with my coach. So this has been working for me. Plus like protein smoothies keep me really full as well until lunchtime. Um, so yeah, my lunch is gonna be quite filling as well. Gonna be using around 300 ml of the almond milk. Then we're gonna do, 50 grams of frozen raspberries. That was around 80, because I wasn't looking, um, but that's fine. And then we're gonna do, so this has 34 grams of protein and is 268 calories for this give or take with the extra amount of raspberries, which wouldn't add that much, that many calories in it. Um, I'm going to do 40 grams of this protein powder, which is normally like a full scoop. Beautiful. So that's in there. And then we're just going to do the yogurt. So we're going to be doing 80 grams of this yogurt. Hopefully there's enough in here. Let's blend this up. Hopefully it tastes nice. I'm sure it will. I've not made this concoction before, but vanilla and raspberry sounds like a pretty good mix to me. <laughs> I think that's all done. I'm sure everyone does this, but I like to take it off and shake it like in between, like obviously while it's mixing. I normally would put it in like a cute little cup, but I can't really be bothered. This is a bit watery, um, but that's fine. Take a little glass to drop. Yum. We are back in the kitchen. Wash hair. I did straighten it, but then it looks like so buffy, buffy for a while. Um, but yeah, it is at the moment like nearly 11.30 and I thought I would start making my lunch because the potatoes have to cook for a while. Um, basically what I'm making are like steak fajitas, um, not traditional in the slightest, but my brother sent me this recipe and I just kind of copied it. It's really high protein, really tasty. Um, and yeah, just really quick and easy. We had this for dinner last night, so I had some leftover ingredients. So like I've been doing throughout the week, I'm just using up kind of what we have. Um, star of the show. This mingle taco seasoning has changed my life. Like, on, oh, oh no. <laughs> Honestly, my brother said to use this because um, normally I just mix my own spices. Um, but this is incredible. So... I'll be using that. I've also got one 
spud light potato left. Um, I've got. Am I recording? Yeah. I've got some leftover steak, little diced steak, and two corn tortillas. Um, I'll also. Also need perinades or any type of like kind of aioli type sauce. And then this Eat Lean protein tea. So I think this whole thing comes to like 450 calories, but with 45 grams of protein, which is really good. Really what I need to keep me full until dinner as well. Um, I've also been keeping up like with my water. I had one marshmallow just because I was craving a little bit of sugar. Um, so I just had a marshmallow, really random. That's kind of all we had to like snack on. So I'm going to um, chop up this potato. And then when that has like 10 minutes to go, I'll start making um, the meat. And I'll show you when it's like all done. Um, but this is really tasty and I really love it. And it is hopefully, yeah, like I said, going to keep me full until dinner. I kind of have like obviously work in between. And then I have my eyebrow appointment to kind of break up that time. So I'm not thinking about food which is one of the things i'm really bad at like constantly thinking about food but i've noticed in the past like four weeks i've not been really thinking because i know what i'm going to be having and i know that it's satiating and it's really yummy so let's get cooking um and i'll show you the final product okay i have just popped my potatoes in the air fryer i do cut them up quite small like in little cubes like that um, just so they cook like a bit faster and then I am going to add some of this mingle seasoning to the potatoes as well and then I shake it up in here and then I'm just going to spray it with a little bit of olive oil and then no. and that's what they look like and then I'm going to pop them in the air fryer for like half an hour, 25 minutes. Time to, I don't know where the best place is, probably nowhere. Time to start making the meat. Um, <laughs> I just can't see anything if we're here. So, obviously you put the stove on. I mean, no one's holding for like how to really, are they? This is quite simple. Um, but I'm going to spray again ah. and then let that heat up a little bit on there but you're going to see how badly this pan needs to be thrown out um, yeah and then what makes this beautiful is that you put the cheese on top while it's in the pan and then it melts over so I'm going to cover it um, and then just makes it super duper cheesy Put that in well, the potatoes sound like they're done. Beautiful. So they're all done. Very crispy. Lovely. So they can just stay in there, turned off. Um, and then I've got my tortillas. So don't mind them. It looks like it's been half eaten. Um, they're just really like flimsy tortillas. So that's why they look like that. So that's just cooking on like its last side now. I'm going to pop a bit of this seasoning on there and then I'm going to turn the heat down a little bit and then I'm going to pop my cheese on like so and we're just going to let it cook with the top on. Maybe I should show you like this. So I'm just going to cook with that on for like a couple minutes and then I'm going to put my tortillas in the microwave that is done so i have turned off the stove and now we're going to plate up this is the final result so obviously two on the tortillas i couldn't really put much in there and then i've just got a bit on the side that was left over and that is my lunch checking 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 in from the car it's four four o'clock now and it started to piss down rain so that's amazing um because it was like pretty sunny before I am so pale um, and it's really broke for me to like actually leave the house like this but I'm getting better at it I have my umbrella even though like the walk to the place isn't that bad like from the car um, but just in case 
the day I got my eyelashes done for the first time, it started to rain like while I was in there. I was like, of course, I didn't have my umbrella. Um, but these are just my eyebrows. It's still like I'm in t-shirts. I don't really want to get wet. Just wash my hair. But anyway, um, the reason why I'm starting this clip is because I'm going to pick up McDonald's on the way home. So I thought I would take you along and show you what I order. But it's high protein, pretty decent cows for it being McDonald's. Um, and showing that you can still eat what you enjoy when you're trying to lose a bit of weight. So let's go because I'm probably going to be late anyway. Okay, hello. I'm in the Macca's drive through um, and it's still pissing down rain. Sorry, that literally looks like a cow. Uh, I got caught in the rain, obviously. And yeah, so I'm drenched. And then the Macca's app decided to like put me like to the one McDonald's that I was closest to instead of it being the one that's next to my house, even though I picked that location, but it picked up when I drove past. This is the worst angle I've ever seen. Um, so that was shit, but I got my brows done. I mean, worth it. I'd rather go today than have to go any other day. Um, I will show you what I got when I get home from McDonald's because there's no way I can like stop and show you here. Um, yeah. What a great day. I freaking washed my hair, curled it, and I'm drenched. So that's awesome. Okay. I like freaked out when I got home and just wanted to get inside because the car ride was a bit traumatic. But what I had in that clip just before was a grilled chicken. Can I balance you on there? Oh, balance you on the bed. Um, it was a grilled chicken deluxe burger and I don't have tomato so I just took the tomato out. Um, supposedly has 508 calories and has 31 grams of protein. And I also had it in like a small meal. So I had small chips and a small Coke Zero. So that in total was like 764 calories and 34 grams of protein. So not ev like obviously don't have that every day. <laughs> Maybe once a week, maybe once every fortnight is what I've kind of been doing. Um, even if Harry gets it, I have cooked dinner, like for myself. Um, and it just makes you feel a bit better. So yeah, I'm not saying either is wrong or right. I, that's just what is working for me. And that is all I'm going to be eating today. I might have like a bit more water, but that's literally it. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up haven't said that in ages um and let me know what else you want to see from me okay 